You have no idea. Live a little. I know you want to see a pit. <laughs> I don't have a microscope. References then. Jared? Knew there was a reason your grandpa hired you. London. <laughs> Amazing, hanging out with our brothers. Oh, I'm so jealous. Oh, they both miss you very, very much, and Kelly. Oh, how is she? Oh. Radiant. Radiant. She's completely in her element. She just seems more confident in her skin. I can see that. <laughs> and little Zane isn't little Zane anymore. He was playing with Brie, and it was so cute, and Kelly and I... We went shopping, and we caught up on each other's lives. It was all very fabulous. Well, why did you have such a short trip, then? I don't know. I miss Nash, and I miss the vineyard, and so I, I cut my trip short and came home. Oh, well, I'm sure Hubby Dearest isn't complaining. <laughs> no, he's not, but, um... Do you know where Mom is? Because I was thinking Bree's at the sitter, and you and I could get a free lunch out of her. Oh! I wish I could. I am just, I'm so swamped. And, um, actually, Mom's not been home for a couple of days. Isn't this the time of the year that she goes to that publisher's conference? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, so... Anyway, I guess you're gonna have to find somebody else to get into trouble with today. Because clearly you have. Who's Mr. Jackass? Oh, God. It's this guy who, um, it's been all over me to hire him. I didn't realize there was a hiring freeze here at B. Well, there is for a bozos who waltz into my office with a messiah complex claiming to know everything uh, about everything. Okay, gotcha. I know the type. Yeah. And then I find out that he brings me a fake resume. And then he lies to me about being chummy with Grandpa. Mm. Yeah, I know, right? And it gets worse. I mean, he tracks me down online and starts to... You know what? Never mind. It's just so wrong. Ugh. Well, it looks like you handled it. I don't know. I mean, if this guy was normal, I would think this would be it. But him, I'm not sure. I was kind of thinking about calling security, having them keep tabs on him. Uh, it's going a little bit overboard, don't you think, Natalie? I mean, just get an IT guy up here, block his email address, and the IMs can come coming through. Mr. Jackass has a name, doesn't he? Yeah, Jared Banks. And as far as I'm concerned, can't go too far. With Sorry, him. did you say Jared Banks? What's the matter? I thought you'd be happy to see me. Keep your voice down. How did you find me? It wasn't easy, since apparently you were using an alias when we first met. Yeah, um... I met him last night. <laughs> I thought you said you went straight home from I did, I did. He, he came over. What the hell? Is he trying to get to me through you now? No, 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 Natalie, it's... It's not like that at all. It's actually kind of involved. Well, honey, anything that involves you and that creep, I'm all ears. Believe what kind of games this guy is playing. I mean, first, he uses Grandpa's memory to try to get a job out of me, and then he takes the money that he won from Nash to try to horn in on your dream? What's next? You gonna propose to Mom? I don't know, but it looks like we're stuck with him. Okay, you gotta, you gotta buy him out. You know, offer him double what he paid for it. I already tried. He said no. I don't believe this guy. I knew it. I knew it all along. He, he's got some sort of angle. I got... You know what? I got... I got to call security. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, Natalie. <laughs> Let's not, um, go overboard here. You know, he could sue us for invasion of privacy. Jess, no, our security here, they're a team of professionals. They You're know probably I'm... right. But, uh, Nash and me are the ones that have to work with him, okay? So why don't you just let us dig up some information on our end? 
if it makes you feel more comfortable. It would. But... Thank you, and I'll keep you posted. Are you leaving? Yeah. Um. Um. I have some errands to run, but uh, when Mom comes back, I promise the three of us will do lunch, just like we said, okay? Okay, we'll give Bree a kiss for me. I will, sweetie. Okay. Bye. See you're on your way out, so I could. Hey, come. Come with me. We'll go for a drive, okay? I'd like that. So, I uh, heard that my uncle. Went off on Marcy and Michael. How are they doing? They're okay. They're okay? They found out that Todd is Tommy's biological father and they're okay? I'm not sure what you want me to say. You're right. I mean, what? They just lost somebody they loved. It's a big deal, right? Right. Yeah, he'll come around. Yeah. Told him I had a line on some cheap cork from Brazil. Wasn't too happy. <laughs> See you wheeling and dealing. Yeah. You two okay? You uh, work things out? Ah, yeah. You know, I don't blame Jessica for being suspicious. I'm just looking to move up. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. And I might have made a pass at her sister. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> and uh, just for the record, I... Uh, not too afraid for that redhead. I'm pretty sure she can take care of herself. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> Are you trying to knock us off one by one? Because let me tell you something. My sister and I may be very different from one another, but we're both Buchanan's, and that counts for something around here. I can see that. Drink? You men no. are all alike. You, know, you, you just try to charm your way into our world, and you take whatever it is you want, and then when things get hard, or maybe we need something for a change, you just disappear. And the next time we see you, it's like... We never met. And you're just standing there on the docks, not a care in the world, because you've moved on. Well, it's your loss, all right? Because we don't need you. On the docks. Or in my office, whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. You're all the same. So what happened on the docks? Nothing. Nothing, OK? He can kiss. Whoever he wants. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I see. No, see, you don't see because you don't know anything about me. So I've been told. I think you need a drink. Don't tell me what I need, you know, or how I'm feeling. So, uh, who was doing all this kissing? My ex. With the woman I despise, are you satisfied? No. But I think I'm getting a little bit of a buzz on it. Good for you. Give it a minute. Go easy. Don't tell me what to do. So let's review, shall we? 
you came here to ring me out about going into business with your brother-in-law, but on your way, you ran into your ex-boyfriend on the docks, and now you're even angrier about him kissing on this woman that... She is, is nasty. She's a two-faced No, 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 no. I, I get it. You hate her. I have an ex or two myself, and seeing them with someone else is not a fun time. Everything old seems new again, and that song you share, the set of her hair. It's not the shoes. No. You know, men are incapable of sentiment. You say so. Oh, they're like, they're like sharks. They just move on. Some of us. And you, you are in the middle of my business, and I don't like it. So you've said. But that's not why you're here. You're here because you're mad at your ex. And who better to take it out on than a stranger that you don't even like? Am I right? I said don't tell me what to do. Yeah, we've covered that, but I'm just looking out for you, because you keep this pace up, who knows what's going to happen. Good. Hit me. Mm. Well, then on one condition. No more talk about your ex. Who? <laughs> you know, some women might get worried drinking in a strange man's motel room. I'm not some women. Mm. No, you're not. They have the endings. Good morning, Sparky. Did you sleep well? Oh, God, no, tell me. I, I didn't, I didn't. Well, I got the whole thing on video if you want to see it. <laughs> or we could just rerun the action okay. live. Get away from me. Oh, God, you're a little cranky this morning. You were a hell of a lot friendlier last night. <laughs> Don't you dare say that to me. Yeah, well, not saying it doesn't make it not true. <sighs> Are you trying to tell me that we... Go on. We... We what? No. No. This is not possible. Yeah, well, you're waking up in my bed, aren't you? Okay, so what? That doesn't... That doesn't mean anything because I was in bed with you. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> really? Then everything I've learned in my life is a lie. But I wouldn't. I couldn't. And I didn't do anything with you. Did I? Would you like me to describe your hidden birthmark? I don't have a hidden birthmark. No, you do. But uh, considering where it is, you've probably never seen it. Are you telling me? <laughs> I'm not telling you anything. Because I don't know anything. Maybe you got a birthmark. Maybe you don't. Are you, are you saying? Nothing happened. How do I know that you're telling me the truth? Did you wake up with a smile on your face? No. I feel a headache. Well, there you have it. Did we or did we not have sex last night? Not. Okay. <sighs> but we did get pretty hammered, though, because as you can see, we tore up the room. <laughs> oh, my God. What was I thinking? Why would I do something so stupid with you? Oh. No offense taken. But as I recall through the inebriated haze, you were upset about some ex-boyfriend kissing with some oh, God. woman you can't stand. Oh, that's starting to come back to me. Oh, oh, my poor head. Uh, I'll get you an aspirin. You want two or three? Uh, two or three what? Aspirin. Oh, uh, uh... I don't care. Just hurry. Here's your aspirin. Only had two left, sir. What you need is a hair of the dog. But uh, we killed that bottle last night. Thanks. I'm never drinking again. Could you please put some clothes on? 
You're not impressing anyone. <laughs> no? It means you still won't hire me? I mean, considering that we broke the ice and uh, slept together last night. Uh, I don't think so. And all that happened is that you got naked and got into bed with me. Uh, That's all we did. Sleep. Hey, Sparky. You party like a rock star. He ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs>